evening everybody welcome back to the channel so here's a video i've been wanting to do for a while but i really wanted to give this thing a good test before i did so so i'm going to be talking today about my 110 quart mitten cooler i'll put a link to their website down below i'm going to go over what i like about it what i don't like about it you know the value what i think the value is you know is it worth the money or should you buy one of the bigger name brand coolers but anyway Let's jump into this. Like I said, this is a mitten cooler. This is the 110 quart series. They have several other series available. This is the 110 quart custom wrapped and you can get your coolers custom wrapped as well on their website. And uh, let's go over some of the features and you guys can make up your own mind. So custom wrap is really, really nice. This is my second or third full season having this uh, cooler on the boat. And I, I'm gonna tell you right now, I could not be more happy with this cooler. Uh, it, this thing is, this thing's a workhorse. It, uh, day after day, it's been out here with me. And you can see right now, some of that custom wrap has taken somewhat of a beating. And there's a few chips there, but it is a wrap. And if you got this thing banging around on a boat day after day, it's gonna take a beating. I actually think that uh, that thing has held up extremely well. The only flaw that I've had on this cooler so far is one of the handles has broken off, but we use this cooler as a seat on this charter boat. So every day I see customers fiddling with that, that thing for whatever reason. I'm surprised both of them haven't broken off as much fiddling as they get. But that one's broken off. That one's still there. Uh, it still holds just fine. In fact, if they both broke off, I still wouldn't be worried about that thing holding together. That thing has a really, really good airlock on it. So custom wrap, pressure release knob right there. There is a drain valve on the other side, my apologies. Drain valve right down there on wheels. And that's one of the things I absolutely love about this cooler, those wheels. That thing is so easy to move around on the boat. When you got, you know, 12 to 15 adult king salmon in that thing it's a lot of weight and those wheels make it so so easy so it pulls really nice if you want to pick it up there are removable handles on both sides to remove them it's nothing more than just popping them out right there that's it inside the cooler i mean it looks like a cooler big thick walls i mean you can see it's got to be three inches thick walls on that thing, all insulated. It cleans up really, really well. No stains on it at all. The rubber gasket, of course, is all the way around, just like on the larger, more expensive coolers. But this thing seals right down really, really nicely. Like I said, even without that handle, she's still locked on there pretty good. So we use this as a seat, like I said, every day on the boat. And we also use it as a step. So when people are getting onto the boat, they step on there and then they step right onto there. And we've had, you know, <laughs> we've had small and XL people on the boat and this thing has been used. I can't imagine how many times as a step and there's absolutely no sag, no sag whatsoever in that lid. And of course you can see I have my Marine mat custom top on that. That does not come with the cooler. That's part of the flooring that I have on this boat. Now you can get that though through Marine Mat if you want to just check out custom flooring in Ludington. You can get that done. But one thing I really like about this is this thing is hard to move when it's on the deck. And the reason being is it has four rubber casters on the bottom. So if you do not have, you know, marine mat or whatever on your boat and you're worried about your cooler slipping around, those things right there keep them from slipping around. So really, really nice, nice feature. So I know a big question is, does this thing hold ice? So I tested this out for myself last year. We had a stretch of about, I don't know, about a week's worth of 90 degree days. So I thought it'd be a good time for a torture test. So I threw a 20 pound bag of ice in there one day and uh, set it right there in the sun, right where it's sitting right now. And after day one, I'd say 95 to 100% of the ice was still there. There was a little, little water down on the bottom. The water was cold. Day two, down to, I don't know, this is all speculative, but probably 80 to 85% of the ice was still there after day two. And day three, 
I probably said eh, 60 to 70 percent of the ice was still there on day three the water was super super cold that was still in the cooler so yeah i thought a three-day torture test in 90 to 95 degree days it did it did really really well i was impressed so is this thing worth the value uh last time i looked on the website it was about 350 bucks for this 110 quart series in my opinion yeah absolutely worth the uh, worth the value really good company um i know the i know the people that sell these they sell them right here in michigan but just because i know them doesn't mean that this is a paid advertisement if this thing was garbage i would tell you that it's garbage but this thing is not garbage i think you'd really uh, i think you'd really appreciate it if uh, you were looking for a cooler i think mitten coolers might be just the thing for you so anyway take care check out their website thanks for watching